Hey guys, this is Reverse Nation and I'm Shitij and today we are So Nokia Sun Plus and the price quoted on the box is 28,000 rupees as you can see over here and it's a very small print so it is a bit difficult to view it in the camera let's see its specifications it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 606 uh, processor and it's a 6 inch display so it has that infinity display it has a 12 camera megapixel dual red camera which one is a 30 megapixel and one is a 12 megapixel and zoom optics and a front camera is a 16 megapixel so yeah and it is android one so it is stock android so that's really good let's cut the seal over here and okay only one seal is over here on the box and here is a pulling tab now let's pull the phone out like this so on the front we have the phone itself there is a slip to pick it up and it's covered in plastic packaging let's keep the phone to the side here is the sim ejector pin uh, okay it was a tray and we get a silicone case that's really good anytime silicone case or any free case is always a welcome change is always welcome because you don't get cases of new phones that easily and uh, what is this uh, this is some discount code from Kotak Bank and this is paperwork from Nokia mobiles as you can see the warranty info and all now let's see we okay we have a box over here so we don't have anything set up like that we have a complete box and let's see what comes out first okay so this is our micro usb no, sorry this is the usb type c charging cable as you can see over here um, usb type c yeah like this uh, usb type c and what else we get we get nokia branded earphones as you can see sealed in plastic uh, looks quite premium and what else we have okay we just have now the power brake over here uh, packaging i feel it's a bit cheap in all these plastic bags and all usb port is over here and i think it's a fast charger yes it's a fast charger so that's good now let's keep everything to the side so now let's see the phone it's in the copper black uh, finish so here all these uh, side bezels are in copper and no cap branding and all this rim camera rings are also in copper so it actually looks really premium let's okay we just have to slide this phone out we don't have to tear the plastic so that's all that's really good as you can see over here finishing is actually quite good the phone looks really premium as you can see over here complete copper finish coppering over here coppering over here and all this side is also made up of copper and on the front also you have a copper ring running across the screen so in looks department is quite premium here we have the nokia branding here we have the 60 megapixel camera and the earpiece and this is the six inch display here on the bottom and on the front we have a considerable amount of chain they should have uh, shrinkened it more here we have the dual tone flash here we have the dual camera with xenon optics here we have the fingerprint sensor in nokia branding android one branding because this phone runs on stock android here we have the power button here we have the volume rocker in left side we have the sim tray and on the top we have the headphone jack on the bottom we have a speaker and a usb type c port and a microphone so yeah now let's boot this phone up for the first time so it's saying android one so by the time it's booting okay nokia typical nokia ringtone let's see the sim slots is it a hybrid okay it is a hybrid sim sort uh, so it's sad to see that it has a hybrid one 
I would like to see a dedicated one dedicated one we get in the Moto G6 but we don't get it on this phone so now guys I will set this phone up till that time I will give you a specs overview So guys we have now done the setup for this phone and actually the screen looks beautiful I will just increase the brightness as you can see over here oh, There is quite a more amount of chin on the bottom and on the top They should have sh shrinkened it quite a bit But okay it looks actually quite good It is running on stock android So as you can see and when you press it, it's google and multitasking back button it's doing the setup and all so completely full stock let's turn on the flash it has a orange or yellowish tint to it because it's dual tone over here so actually the light is quite powerful and now let's go, go into settings and see the android version so it is already updating and currently it's on the 8.1 oreo so it's on the latest version of android because it's a stock android phone with android one so it will get latest update and it has got a security update and it's updating it so let it be now now let's quickly fire up the camera uh, allow and it's showing me some gestures okay next this okay 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 so camera is not familiar it's a bit different for me so single dual what is this okay so you can take a dual photo in this as you can see means I can take a rear camera shot also and a front camera shot also I hope you can see in this I can see this is the front camera and this is the rear camera so it's quite uh, interesting okay front camera over here and this is the back camera so this is something new for me let's increase the brightness because the screen is quite dark okay so let's go back okay I don't find the camera yeah it has the pan it has camera portrait mode ne live book k and pro mode and panorama so this is panorama and are let's go over here let's see live book k and uh, this is the depth sensor this is the portrait mode which we are talking about so let's bring this bluetooth speaker and let's turn on the lights okay probably this might help Let's keep the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And uh, again, it's too near. I don't know what's the problem with this because again, uh, this portrait mode on all the phones are hit and miss. On expensive also, expensive phones also, it's always hit and miss. So on this budget category, it means mid-range phone, it will be. Uh, but initial impression is looking quite poor. It's again saying uh, too near. Probably this environment is not giving it the justice, so I, I think we have to go in natural lighting conditions to see how it's like. But initial impression is the camera quality looks good. The shutter speed, okay, it's quite fast. Now let's turn on uh, the front camera. This is a 16 megapixel camera, and I have to say that it's quite good. The clarity and attention to detail the focusing is really good you can make actually vlogs with this camera it's that good yes it is let's take some selfies let's see if it has a front facing portrait mode yeah it has okay oh wow this front facing uh, portrait mode is quite good it immediately blurs the background actually with single camera the portrait mode is quite good i feel and with double camera the portrait mode becomes a hit and miss 
I've seen on many phones the front facing portrait mode is absolutely amazing okay so this second camera gives you a 2x zoom so yeah that's good we have auto mode HDR time lapse flash and all we have video recording also so yeah so guys these are some camera samples which I had quickly shot with the Nokia 7 plus and initial impressions the camera quality looks good especially with the front facing camera of this phone because it is a 16 megapixel camera and the front facing camera also has a portrait mode so yeah so thanks for watching guys uh, and please subscribe to review destination for more videos like this